very next target we got a live penny or I should say a fresh dropped penny just a zinkin back with you guys on the next find I really want to show you a signal here um, it's coming in as you can see let me get a view of it it's jumping in from a 70 to a 60 now what I'm expecting that to be it's probably going to be a zinkin but when it does that when it jumps from about the 70 to low 60 and then up to the penny that's almost always a, a zinkin now, it's usually not a copper coin or anything it's usually a zinkin um, either that or it could be gold because it is in the gold range so it's always important to dig those signals that are in between the pull tab and the penny don't leave those ones behind or else you're never going to find much gold get back with you guys later so like I said it ended up being a zinkin at about four inches down so those signals although they're generally zinkins they can also be gold well everyone you can see this hole is just another stinking Lincoln but uh, the reason I'm shooting this clip is to show you the Digger's TL11 that I bought last year at a metal detecting shop right near where I live and um, you can see it's kind of like the ones that you see at Kelly Co but um, it's not the same model it's made by a different company now this was only about 12 bucks before tax um, and you can see it digs, it digs a pretty good plug I just dug this plug right here um, but the problem with it is that in dry ground like we've been having for the last year or so I really haven't gotten a lot of chances to use it since I bought it but uh, today I t decided to take it out and give it a shot and uh, it's able to cut through this wet ground pretty easily so I'm definitely going to be using this more often during the winter months out here where I live get back with you guys on the next find well everyone you can see you've got a quarter signal right there now on the AT series, the A series, and the GTI series, as well as the GTP series, quarters and above on the um, detectors come in as a very um, definite tone. You can usually tell without even looking if it's going to be a quarter or more. Um, dimes also have a good tone, but they're not as strong as a quarter. And of course, pennies are also the same way. They come, pennies come in quite a bit duller than anything above a quarter. So we're going to dig this series up and 9 out of 10 it's going to be a quarter. Hope everybody just like the AT Pro said, about 4 inches down we got a Force Clyde quarter of the day. So we're going to continue on, back with the guys in a few minutes. Well everyone we got the first dime of the day. Moving on with the hunt. Well everyone here I am doing a little coin popping with a screwdriver trying to, thought I had a nickel but I ended up having the end of a pencil with an eraser. All you gotta do though, it's a lot easier just to do this than make a hole. It's a lot easier to fix, see? So it's a very important, uh, I guess, tool to have if you know how to do it. All you're basically doing though is feeling for the target when you're poking in the ground. Now, generally you use this method when you're looking for something that's shallow. Um, in this case, I thought it was going to be a nickel at about two inches. So you just poke it until you hit it, and then you just walk your way underneath it and basically flip it up. Um, take some practice though and I'm still learning I haven't been doing this very long but uh you can get of course a screwdriver like this for like at the dollar store so it's an interest it's a good tool to have with you when you're metal detecting back to you guys in a few minutes one just as the light is going down we dug our second quarter of the day a couple of signals in this area that I were next to this quarter but uh H250 with Ace I mean AT Pro was able to sniff it out after I dug up a couple of little pieces of wire. I was able to get the quarter, get back with you guys the next find. Well everyone, you know that old saying, you get what you pay for. Well, fortunately it held true for me just now. Look what happened. <laughs> the little grip uh, came off the metal of my uh, digger that I bought last year. It didn't crack the metal or anything, it just wasn't held on tight enough by however they did that. You can see it's just a solid piece of stainless steel, the digger. Uh, yeah, look, they used glue right there. You can see it. So as for the digger T11, that's a negative, everyone. Get back to the guys next find. Well, so as the sun continues to set, it's almost down now, actually, now. We've got a few more minutes of light. I've been probing for a target right here. Pretty sure it's right here, I think. 
We're about to find out. <sighs> Trying to do a live probe, I guess is what you call it. What? Hold up. This might actually be something better. This might... This is a definitely a cross. Let me see if I got another signal in the hole right here. Well, the one that's not good, but I found Jesus. I guess you can find Jesus while metal detecting too, but I think I accidentally knocked him off of the cross. I have to try and fix him when I get home. I'm glad I don't think it's silver. I think it's just junk, Joy. But at least I can say I found Jesus. Be back with you guys on the next find. Thank you, Jesus. Well, the one. The sun has just about set. It's time for me to get out of here. Just dug a third quarter for the day. Only spent about an hour and a half here, I think. Uh, and of course, I was shooting film like I am now, so I didn't get as much hunting in as if I hadn't been shooting the video. But anyway, I'll get back to you guys on the next hunt. Um, talk to you guys soon.